Hello everyone, I decided to buy a new laptop and chose this one. It's 15.6 inch HP Pavilion Gaming with AMD Ryzen 5 up to 3.7 GHz, 8 GB RAM and I can update it, 1 TB HDD plus 256 GB SSD with NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 for GB video card, HD webcam has no DVD, green backlight keyboard and it only weights 2.34. Kilogram. Now, I'm not a gamer and I didn't buy this computer for gaming purposes. I want to use it for graphic design and video editing, but because it's a gaming computer, why don't we test it? I have downloaded Ride 3 and the minimum requirements for this game is almost the same that my laptop has, so let's play. Before we begin, I must admit that I'm not good at this game, so though I like them very much. So, first few tries were a disaster. So, after so many fails, I decided to read an article about this game to find out how to properly play it. And after some practice and even watching YouTube videos, I think I managed to play it a bit better and maybe cheat a little bit.
this game. I didn't have any problems with playing it other than me not knowing how to play it. And I didn't have any problems with the graphic. It was going flawless. Now it's time to test the keyboard and how fast I can type on it. The keyboard is really, really, really good. It makes you want to write something. And as you can see, I'm an octopus. Now, problems occurred when I tried to edit almost 4K footage. Adobe Premiere Pro was in shock, as well as my laptop. Everything stopped working for a few seconds. But if we go back to the project I'm editing now, which is about my laptop, there were no problems with it. I was cutting, zooming in and out, adding effects and everything was going smoothly. Now let's open Adobe Illustrator and the folks I was trying to recreate with the help of Skillshare Teacher. When I was trying to zoom in with the zoom tool on my previous computer, it wasn't doing like it's shown in the video because of the graphic card I had. While creating this folks, I didn't have any problems with the Illustrator. But Illustrator isn't where I have a program, so let's open InDesign and Photoshop at the same time while Premiere Pro is still opened in the background. Three programs of Adobe are open now and I can work on three of them at the same time without any problems. Let's switch to Photoshop and add some effect to this lovely dog and also, I'm going to open Adobe After Effects. I always had problem with Adobe After Effects when I was using it on the previous computer, but now I can open Premiere Pro and After Effects at the same time and still edit some videos in Premiere Pro, except maybe 4K. I just did simple animation in After Effects. Let's add some noise to the video and see if we have problems with the playback because adding noise makes it quite heavy. I decided to render it because of the red line and see how much time it will require and then I cancelled it. So to sum it up, laptop is quite great. I'm planning to add more RAM in the future and see how much it will help. But other than that, I'm really really happy with the performance. Thank you for watching and see you soon.